welcome to another Let's Play by me, the Gamer Wolf 6 of More Not To Revise Shin's Root. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can go down to the link in the description where you can download and play it free. And I don't need to say this anymore, but might as well say it. Any H content, we're skipping over. But we don't need to because that was last episode. So, what happened on the last episode? Well, to... Make it very short, uh, we had a very intimate moment with Shin. And, you know, his walls broke down and he depended on me. So that was nice and interesting. But for this Let's Play, I think this is the last day I'm in... What's this town called? Minnesota? Yeah, I think so. Either that or I think we're hanging out with him. Anyways, let's start. Hmm. Is this it? I guess I didn't bring as much with me to Minnesota as I thought. I've already set aside one last change of clothes for tomorrow. Okay, so it's not today. That should be everything. <sighs> Look out my window. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Tomorrow, summer vacation ends. There's just one last thing I need to do today. I should bring my cell phone for this. I pull it out from my bag I, I just packed. Then I look at the time. Hmm. This is a good, uh, good a time as any to set off. I should get going. I take my time on the walk, enjoying the scenery as much as I can. I don't have a lot of time left to see it. Hey, you there! Ooh, ah. What's up, Dark? I'm surprised with two of my oldest friends when I round the corner towards the mansion. H hey, guys. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Hmm. Why are you two greeting him? You don't don't sweat the sm eh, small stuff, man. Uh, oh. It looks like Shin wanted to be the first one to see me. Aren't you supposed to be busy with preparations? It doesn't take this many people to greet Dark. You could help out with setup too, you know? But we're your guests. Shameless. Everything's gonna be fine, Shin. You worry too much. Heh, <laughs> that is... that's true. Et tu, Brute? Uh, what was that? I guess uh, they don't know much about, uh, uh, what's his name, Julius Caesar? N nothing. Forget it. <laughs> Kidori, is this the right place for the chairs? Yes. Line them up, uh, circling the table. Okay. Oof, maybe I'm a little early. Looks like they're still setting up for my goodbye party. I'm sorry, Dark. I thought we'd be finished by now. A couple of us uh, decided to be lazy, though. That's okay. I'm here earlier than I said I'd be. Would you like me to help out? What? Why would I expect that? You're the guest of honor. We're almost done, so make yourself at home. Walks off while giggling to himself. Hmm, guest of honor, huh? Maybe we'll take him up on that. Pull out a chair and relax, watching everyone else scramble around for, for the evening. Ah. With my hands behind my head, I lean back and watch the chaos unfold. Hey! Got the food right here. Thanks for your help, my strong friend. It's no problem. Whoa! <laughs> Watch your step. Th thanks. Do the decorations go like this, sir? Yep, that's perfect. Thanks for all your help, Sotaru. That ain't much, really. 
Mr. Maki, where did I put the drinks? Oh, I don't think uh, we have anything set up for that yet. Koichi, can I have your assistance? Yes, of course. What is it? I'm sorry, but can you help me carry one out one more table? No problem. While I'm kicking back and watching everyone work while I smile, with a smile, I notice strange movement nearby. Konosuke sneaks up to the food table and glances around suspiciously. Konosuke? Shh. Did you really think I wouldn't notice? Wah! Not only are you not helping, but you're trying to sneak, uh, trying to sneak food. Ah. As punishment, I'm going to make you take the table out all by yourself. What? You're so mean. You better start helping out, or there's no more, uh, no more where that came from. Okay. Konosuke walks away from the table dejected. Da ha 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 What's so funny? S sorry it's weird to see you like this again. Really? Yeah. I like a man that who takes charge. I wink him with a smile. And... It, it's because you're here. I'm a lot more confident now than I usually am. Aw, thanks. I love you, Shin. D don't say things like that out loud. <laughs> My heart flutters at his words, even if he says it in a whisper. Hey, you got a moment? I didn't want to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. Have you made a decision about the school yet? I gave my dad a proper answer. What did you say? I wrote... I wrote down? Stop sticking your nose in places that don't belong, idiot. Well, that's definitely something. If he wants to yell at me for it, he can come down here and do it in person. That's not going to be a problem? I don't really care anymore. Shane's sin like this is so refreshing. It's about time he pays a visit anyway. I doubt he even remembers what I look like. I want our next conversation to be face to face. I'm allowed to be selfish now and again, right? <laughs> you bet. Alright guys, today is Dark's last night in Minnesota. Let's give him a party to remember. Cheers! Cheers! Glasses don't even reach the table before people start reaching for the food. She and Mr. Amaki prepared a smorgasbord of everything. I wonder what that means. Like, I know what it means, but, like, where'd it come from? And orange and stuff. On a nearby table sits an assortment of salad, chicken, and sandwiches. Ah, I want to eat food. I lift up my fork and start digging into the chicken napoli... Na ne Neapolitan I have in front of me. Neapolitan. Wow, man. Summer sure went by fast. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a month. I mean, months go by quickly. I wish I could stay a little longer. Torahiko Tora, Tora elbows me in the ribs. Ow! <laughs> hey! You'd really totally move back here, bro. Well, who knows what the future has in store? Back off, Torahiko. You're making him comfortable. What was that? Don't be naive. What reason does he have to move back here besides us? There aren't a lot of jobs here, and we're too far away from any reasonable forms of higher education. Tch. Nothing to worry about. I'll just get you a job in my place, Dark. Somehow, I doubt that. 
At least one of us has a real job. Ooh, harsh. You're looking for a fight, Tiger Boy? Come on, guys. Break it up, you two. Take your flirting somewhere else. Shut up, Konosuke. Hey. <laughs> These guys haven't changed at all. Are you gonna eat lunch, Joichi? Yeah. What's wrong? Did your stomach hurt? Bitch. <clears throat> I'm fine, Kudori. Don't worry about me. But... Oh, Joji's just getting ready for what I have prepared next. What do you mean? <laughs> I made a huge honey cake for dessert. Oh, I get it now. Juji, you're such a big fan of honey. Yeah. Shun's attitude has changed a lot from when I first arrived in Minnesota. Looking at all the... at the natural smile on his face, I suddenly feel a warm, fuzzy feeling in my stomach. Try this one, Taro. Okay. So Taro takes a bit of uh, Koyuji's plate and places it in his mouth. Ah, you're right. It's delicious. Here, Mr. Takahara. He pushes his plate over to Koyuji. Yep, that tastes good, too. Pfft, these two. It's like they're in their own little world. I really wonder what the roots of them would look like. That'd be weird. That's a minefield to go into, story-wise and all that stuff. Hmm. It's on ta uh, Tatsuki. About to get up for seconds. I noticed Tatsuki wandering around looking for something. Oh, uh, I can't find something I brought. Hmm, is it important? Of course, I spent a lot of money on it. It's a special occasion. Are you talking about this? Bah! Mr. Monkey waves a bottle of beer in front of him. I knew it. This may be a relaxed bar uh, party, but I can't allow the serving of alcohol to minors. Ugh. It's a shame, really. I wonder what Taipei would think about his son bringing alcohol to a party like this. Wait, is his name Taipei? Tapi? Whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, please don't tell my dad. Mm hmm. I'll be holding on to this, just in case. Okay. So, uh... You really like beer now, don't you? Of course I do. Real men drink. No, you don't need to. I can see that. Look at your beer belly. Poke a Tatsuki stomach. Gah! Stop that. It tickles. Dude, you put on a lot of weight. You should start a diet. That's not true. A whole dragon men have stomachs like this. Okay, stop poking. That's rude. When dinner, uh, with dinner out of the way, the only thing left for the night is... It, it's huge! With a smile across my face. It's time for a dessert! I don't usually bake things this big. I hope it turns out okay. Don't worry about it. You're always great, uh, make great stuff, Shin. Tura stick, uh, sticks a bite of the cake in his mouth. Ah! <laughs> this is really good, Shin. I can't believe how smooth the flavor is. Oh, has the mighty Tora Heiko finally met his match? S stop making fun of me, you idiot. This is seriously amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Konosuke, uh, you have a pie falling out of your mouth. Not a piece of pie, an entire pie. I <laughs> say? 
Dude, that's gross. Don't speak with your mouth full. It is delicious. You're so cute with your wacky tail. You're amazing, Seth Shin. Mm. Juchi, how many slices have you had? I'm getting a stomach ache just watching you. I have a lot of talent for this, Shin. Definitely. It's better than the cakes I've had in most restaurants. It's amazing. Wow. Nothing but praise going around the table. Okay. You guys can stop piling on the flattery. Shin smiles with embarrassment. I don't think he's used to getting this many compliments. All jokes aside, I think this is your best cake yet. Please. It's no big deal. You're too modest, Shin. Just like that, the fun times are over. We work together to clean up uh, the back porch. Our shadows grow longer behind us as the sun uh, sets on the horizon. It's too soon. Why does summer have to end? What, uh, what should we do after this? How about another party at the Raimon? Jeez. Desperate for beer, aren't you? I like beer. Is that so wrong? Well, it'll suck if we stay out so late that we can't wake up in the morning. I agree. Dark has an, an early morning tomorrow, too. Eh? You seem a little out of it, Dark. Are you okay? It, yeah, sorry. Just thinking about things. I want to hang out with you guys some more, but I might oversleep if I do. Heh. <laughs> Don't want to be late for the bus, right? Err. You should take your own advice sometime, Konosuke. I can be early when I want to. So he says. We should probably call it night. I'm sure Dark has some things to pack. Uh, things to pack still. That's true. Koyuchi claps his hands together and smiles. Well then, I suppose that concludes the evening. Thank you again for hosting us, Shin. No, thank you for coming. It's been a pleasure. After helping him finish cleaning up, the rest of us begin to make our way home. My mind wanders through the evening, through everything I've done this summer. The welcoming party, the beach trip, going camping. <sighs> Only feeling bubbles up from the pit of my stomach. I wish I had more time to spend with Shin. We've only just begun. Now I'm going home. Heh. <sighs> to think all this started fr with a letter from... Dark? T Tora? Glad I caught up with you. H hey, what's up? Did you forget something? Yeah, I just had something to say. still a little hard for me. I, uh, want you to be happy with the shit, alright? What? He's the one you love, isn't he? Yeah. Tora nods his head in approval. It's not me. I'm glad it's Shin. He deserves somebody amazing in his life. Th thanks, Tora. I'm sure someday you'll find someone special, too. Uh, maybe you're right. Can't dwell on you forever, can I? I smile and give him one last hug. G yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tora. This means a lot. 
and a breeze lingers a bit. Either of us want to break it, we're willing. Eventually, stay safe, Dark. Bye, Tura. We've had each other for what feels like the last time. It's almost sad. There's a sense of finality to this meeting. I'm down separate paths now. At the crossroads of Minnesota. And our lives. Before I left the party earlier, she pulled me aside and told me to come back later tonight. Shortly after my grandparents went to bed, I managed to slip out of the front door unnoticed. Something he wants uh, me to see. Heh. <laughs> Can't believe you're so bold, Shin. I hold out a small flashlight I brought and shine it in front of me. Without realizing it, pace quickens as I walk down the familiar dirt road to Shin's mansion. Good, you made it. Perfect timing. Our lips meet as he grabs my hand and drags me inside. Whoa. So what is it you want to show me? I give him a wink. Then I have a good idea what it is. We still got time. Come up to my room. Hmm. We went downstairs to get some... Oh, Shin went downstairs to get something. He sure to come back to this room again. Last time I was here. <laughs> it's hard to keep you waiting. He walks through the door, carrying a platter of tea and snacks. I thought we could enjoy a little tea while we wait. Spence is killing me. What do you want to show me? <laughs> I'm not telling you yet. Shin places the platter on the desk and turns off the lights. It, it, hey! The room is plunged in pitch black for blackness momentarily before he opens the curtains. Pale moonlight shining through is enough to see what's in front of me. Would you like me to pour some tea? Okay. Anticipation in my veins rises, especially when I see that his wry smile shining at me. I don't remember this part in the main game, or the regular, or original game. Two of us enjoy our moonlight tea together. Outside the window, I notice something move. Hmm? Huh? What is it? I thought I saw... Ah! It's so beautiful. Shooting star. Looks like it's starting. They start with just one, but soon there are multiple shooting stars falling from the sky. I heard there was going to be meteor showers tonight. I want to see it with you. The teacup echoes throughout the room, which she places down on the table. I feel a warm body nestle next to me. I thought I'd be alone when I saw my first meteor shower. Shin. My heart pounds next to the warmth, cuddling next to me. I hold a soft, fur-covered hand. Should we make a wish? <laughs> Wishes don't work that way. Are you sure? It wish seems like it came true. He doesn't answer. But I can tell he's blushing. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. I'm not. I'm just thinking. Maybe we could should make a wish anyway. Who knows? It might actually come true. Maybe. Alright then. I'll make a wish too. In the darkness, Shin closes his eyes and puts his hands together. I do the same then voice my wish three times in my heart. After making our wishes, we exchange glances and silently share a kiss. Dark? Hmm? I've decided on something. 
What is it? My plans for the future. Really? Yeah. I've been giving it some thought. I really do like making pastries. When everyone ate my cake today, I felt so happy. Aww. I already tore up my father's letter, but maybe he's right? Maybe I should make a living off of it. Get yeah, my full support, Shin. I think your stuff is good enough to sell. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad. I don't want it to be anything big, though. I'm thinking of a small, cozy store on a quiet street corner. But uh, wait! I suppose I could call it a cafe. Huh, or should. I don't expect it to be famous, but I want to make people happy with my cakes. Hmm. Not just any town, though. I think I want to open it here in Minnesota. <laughs> that sounds childish, doesn't it? Not at all. I like the idea. Sorry for bringing it up just now. I want to tell someone. To tell you. <laughs> Maybe I can work there someday. Just the two of us, baking cakes for the people of Minnesota. <laughs> Just make sure you don't confuse the salt with the sugar again. <laughs> with you there, I'm sure we'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just told me your wish, didn't you? Now it's not going to come true. It's fine. This is my dream, so I'm going to make it happen myself. Besides, I wish for something else. What's that? It's a secret. What? C can't you give me a hint? You're hopeless. Well, since it's you... I know you wish for the same thing. Uh, feelings... Why do I have to feel feelings? <sighs> so that's going to be the end of this Let's Play. And the next Let's Play is definitely going to be the ending. Granted, it's probably going to be a bit short. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching another Let's Play. By me, the Game of Six of More Not Your Vice and Roots. <sighs> Makes me think things and stuff. Anyways, please comment because I like comments. Tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise... If you like my YouTube and like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out other videos to help my YouTube grow if you want to do that. And please remember to spay and or neuter your animals to control the pet population. And again, if you're interested in playing this game, you can go to the link in the description where you can download and play it for free. And until next time, let's play by me, the Game Rule 6 of More Not Your Vice Shinsert. See ya.